what's up guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching my videos and as you guys can see today we have a 2017 Range Rover HSE at 3, three liter this is the last year of the 2017 body style in 2018 they made a new one and I'll, I'll I'll probably try to bring it to review the 18 body and see the differences between the two cars and now let's go and review this car moving on to the front of the car we have Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights and whatever I heard they're like two grand and we have a headlight washer here we have a big bossy black grill but I really don't like the design because it just comes and slants in like little circles and we have the Range Rover logo here which is really also glossy black and really beautiful we have a lower grill here which is also glossy black and four sensors on the front from bumper huge 22 inch wheels and this car has air suspension which means from the inside you can lower the car and raise the car right now it's lowered but when we go to the interior i'll show you guys how you can raise it and where the button is and we have a big black molding here that comes all the way to the back door over there and it really matches with the with the molding that we have on the hood here and we have black mirrors with the turn signal led turn signal Black door handle, which as I, um, which is comes with the black edition. We have a black sunroof, which also comes into the black edition. And the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the soft touch closing doors. So, and now let's go to the back of the car. Oh, sorry guys, I was just sleeping. There's so much space in here that you can fit like fit like me and I'm so huge so the space in there is really huge and now let's wait for that to close and we're going to start on the back of the car so we have a beautiful glossy black Range Rover badge here with another glossy black molding here Range Rover badge over there we have a camera here backup camera and there's a washer right next to it and that's really cool because every time like i'm going somewhere with my dad's car there's no washer on my dad's and he's like can you go wash it and every time i have to go out and wash it but range rover i this is the first time i've seen that on any car that there's a washer and i would really like to see the buffer tips but too bad that they're all the way back there and there's there's sensors parking sensors and we had some on the front and now we have have some on the back and supercharged there's a supercharged logo here supercharged means that when you're driving supercharge is always on but turbo means when you're racing and you hit the gas turbo then turns on but supercharge is always on now let's go to the interior of the car now let's pop the hood and see what's under there There are two. Uh, there are two options if you. Wow, that's a nice noise over there. There are two options if you want to buy this car. There's a V6 and there's a V8, and they're both gas. So this exact one here, you know, yeah, guys. The only reason I'm saying gas is because there's also a diesel engine. So, so this one right here, this exact one I have today, is 340 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque. It is capable. No, the car is 5,000 pounds. It's capable of towing 8,000 pounds, but the V8. The V8 is is a five five liter. It's a eight nine speed, and this one is a eight speed. And that's all from the engine of this car. to the interior the interior is is two-tone it's black and cream and there are a lot of options to show you on the car so to do that I have to start the car for you guys so the display you guys see here the speedometer and the rpm it's all digital 
and right now you guys can see it show it, it, it shows all the seat belts and this car is a family car so when you're going on the trip you can you can see if your kids put on the seat belts or not and then the left side of the steering wheel controls the radio and the volume of the radio and the right side control controls the auto cruise control and then now let's go to the display here it's the huge display here so we have the menu settings parking 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 sensors there's a backup camera you don't even need to put the car in reverse you can already see it without putting it and then we have mode but we don't have a disc to put in when you press mode it plays the disc you have in right now and then we have radio control your phone control and navigate and the navigation here and everything you guys can see here it's everything you guys can see here it's all the climbing control the all of the seats have ventilated and heated seats and I almost forgot the steering wheel has a heating option and then there's the polished aluminum trim and the wood trim here but the paddle shifters guys the paddle shifters are plastic they're plastic I would really like to see I would really like to see aluminum but too bad that they're plastic and let me show you guys the really really cool shifter that we have here so guys see it's oh, popped out right now but when I turn off the car it goes in really nice and when I start the car it comes out and then when you want to change it you just pop it to the right and then pop it to the left and here we have the drive trains of the car we have, and the option that you can put the car the air suspension you can put it down and up it's right here and then we have a panoramic sunroof and when you want to open these two cup holders you push it all the way we have a really nice key when I saw this key I was like wow this is like the best Range Rover key I've ever seen in my life this is the customers custom keys and when you want to close it you push it like that you don't need to pull it all the way back and then guys one really cool thing is that we have two glove boxes two glove boxes look this is the top one and this is the lower one which is really cool here we have another storage there's storage really deep here and then we have two USBs and a headphone jack so you can put your headphones and if you don't want your kids and your wife to listen to your music you, you want to listen to it to your own you just put it in there and guys now let's move to the back of the car back of the car I really have a lot of space and there's even a long base on this car I can imagine how much leg room the people in the back can have and here as I told you guys the climbing control the people can control it in the back heated and ventilated seats in the back I've never seen a car like that this is the first car I've seen to have that we have three seats in the back and then we have four speakers on each door and they're Meridian speakers and guys there's you can pull the back seat here there's two cup holders and you can open it there's like a you can fit your phone but I don't think you can fit the new phones it's like a little space you can probably fit a little flip phone in there and guys that's all from the back of the car and yeah guys as I told you guys this car is a luxury car but it's also for off-roading let me show you guys how high this car can get
up guys thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you're new smash that like button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss another one of my videos peace